Today, we have here the Lenovo IdeaPad V15 G2 ITL laptop and I will show you how to open, upgrade or repair the components of this laptop. If you want to see the unboxing, the specifications and the tests, subscribe to the channel or see the links in the description. Because I already posted several videos about this computer, I will show you how you can open this computer and see the possibility of repair or upgrade. But first, subscribe to the channel because I publish new videos every week. And turn it around. And the computer is closed with screws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 screws. We need a Phillips screwdriver and we are going to remove all the screws that hold the back cover of the computer. This is a very common screwdriver that you should have at your home. So anyone can open it and upgrade or repair the computer. In this case, let's start by opening it and see the inside. The screws are of different sizes. We can see that one is shorter and the other is a bit longer. So you should put the screws in order to know where they belong. These screws in the middle, let's unscrew it. They are also big because they hold the center part of the computer. Only four are left. We are almost done. The one on the top are also long. Only the four on the bottom are shorter. So there won't be any confusion. We've already removed all the screws. So the computer is not glued. It is screwed with screws. And we are going to take off the cover. So the lid still doesn't lift. We'll need a card or some other kind of tool to unclip all the clips to separate the cover from the computer. We'll start by pulling one of the corners like this and inserting the card into the slot of the space you are going to create and trying to make the separation between the cover and the computer. Do this carefully and calmly so as not to break the fittings of the cover. Separate all of them one by one and open them all around. In some parts it can be more difficult, but do it carefully. As we can see, it opens a little by little and separates the lid with the plastic card and the lid comes off more and more easily. It's not hard to do this, but do it carefully. We can see here on this side, this is already free and is getting easier to separate little by little. Luckily, the manufacturer didn't use glue on the lid and it just snaps on. Now, the bottom part. You just have to turn the lid and they will unclip. It was easy to open. And we took the lid off and we reveal the inside of the computer, which we are going to analyze now. So, let's see the inside. We have a space for a 2.5 inch SSD drive. But despite the space there is in this, the computer doesn't include any connection to connect another drive, for example, through a SATA connection. So we can connect a secondary drive. It has a SSD M.2 module using PCI Express. This model is short, but it has space to put a longer M.2 module, up to 80 millimeters with the same PCI Express interface. We have the RAM memory, which comes under this metallic part, which seems to be welded. Let's see. I can take it off and I don't want to force it too much. But after finishing the video, I saw that it is possible to remove this cover. It is very stuck, but it was even more when I opened it and we reveal the RAM module. And we see that the memory is not soldered, but there is only one memory model. We pull the tabs to take out the model, which is DDR4 RAM. 
so we can replace or upgrade this memory on this computer. We also can upgrade or replace the Wi-Fi card, which is right here. Also, the battery is possible to be removed. It is secured by screws and connected here to the motherboard, so we can also easily change the battery and also the CPU fan, which is held by four screws. So the most important thing is the ability to upgrade this computer from the M.2 SSD drive and put another with a larger capacity, the RAM memory, the Wi-Fi card, and maybe put a storage expansion with an SSD or HDD drive, because we have the space inside for that but I have to see if the motherboard has a SATA connection for that. Also, the battery, the CPU fan, and this connectivity board with a few ports, and the motherboard, which is secured by screws, and could be replaced if it fails or gets damaged. Therefore, the repair, replacement, or upgrade capability of this computer is height and satisfactory. I almost missed this, but we also have the speakers here, which is placed on these fittings, and therefore the entire sound module on both sides, right and left, can be replaced. That's why I'm happy with this computer, because in the long run I can repair and upgrade many of the components of this computer. So it is a positive vote for Lenovo. I'm glad they are making their computers this way and not soldering or gluing to prevent the computer from being opened so to avoid that two years from now it will be electronic waste this way you can repair this computer easily if needed i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned how to open this lenovo laptop and know the possibility you have to repair or upgrade this computer if you want to see the unboxing, more information about the technology specifications of this computer or see the tests I did to this computer, check the videos on the channel or subscribe to the channel for future videos. If you like this video, hit the like button and if you have any questions, write in the comments because I answer to all comments. And then, to close, take the cover, first fit the parts in the bottom, fit the clips then along the sides fit all the clips one by one until everything fits remember the small screws are for the holes in the bottom and the longer screws are for the rest on the top and in the middle